Rusty York has spent the last 40 years fighting crime in Fort Wayne and says all of the recent homicides are troubling. And now he's moving on, retiring, and he's convinced that others will pick up where he left off. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson joins us now with her exclusive interview. Angelica. Life will look a lot different for Rusty York tomorrow. Today was his last day as public safety director. Tomorrow, he prepares lesson plans to teach at IPFW. He says retirement will be different, but one thing's for certain, he's ready. The year was 1975. A 24-year-old Rusty York began his career in law enforcement. You know, I've always admired police officers since I was a little kid and uh, still do today. He started off as a patrolman and moved up in the ranks. 22 years later, 1997, he retired as detective captain. Back in 97, I knew what the fire, uh, police chief's job entailed, and I was pretty certain I didn't want to do that. But then, an offer he couldn't turn down. I really missed being uh, a police officer, and if it was in the chief's capacity, then I was, I was up for that. So he made a comeback. In 2000, he was sworn in as chief. Then 14 years later, director of public safety. I've really enjoyed, I would do it again all over if I could. But now is the time to move in a new direction. And he says he's leaving the department in good hands. You know, they're prepared to, and they already are providing excellent leadership to police and fire. So he begins a new adventure. I used to worry, uh, that, geez, I'm going to get up in the morning and wonder what I'm going to do the rest of the day. I know that's not going to be that case. York says he'll spend the coming days working on lesson plans. He'll begin teaching a public safety course at IPFW in the spring, hopefully making a way for more law enforcement officers. To make a positive change, people have to get involved and really take a look at public safety as a, as a career option. City Council voted to eliminate the public safety director position at a budget meeting last month. Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.